All right, all right, all right. My name is Diane Tran. I'm a senior from Lincoln North Star. You know it, and this one is called Requiem. There is one indisputable truth. It isn't that everything falls down or that you shouldn't rob people for their car stereos. No, it's a little more simple than that. One day, I will die, and none of this life will ever actually ever matter. It's only me running away from that inevitability. There are a few things I'm scared of. Clowns, spiders, and I don't know, the dark. But that is something I am most scared of because Ever so there, around every corner, and every crevice, and every pore of my skin, death will eventually claim me. And nothing I will ever do will be able to prevent that. Everything I have accomplished, everyone I love, had loved, will love, that loves me, every tear I shed or turmoil, the struggle, none of it will ever have mattered when one day I move on from this world. But that's the thing, ain't it? What am I going to move on into? There is no heaven or hell waiting to hold me, no purgatory I can lament in. There is not another life waiting me to reincarnate into. There is no afterlife I can possibly ever visit because there is nothing in death but nothingness. And it's coming. It will always be coming for me. There is no soul I can sell to the devil, no eightfold path I can save me from my suffering, no amount of prayer or haggling for my life will ever save me from the end. All the things I will never get to see again. My home, my family, this lump of rock we all live on. I will never get to feel the nice spring breezes again or the spray of the ocean. The curtains, they close. It's the finale forevermore. The end is it. It's just the end. But the end is not the end of my story. It's not the end of who I am now. I am scared of death, but I have no fear of it. Because being scared is only the goosebumps running up and down my arm, every fall cue of hair standing up on end. Scared is only cold trips at night with my mind racing at light speed. Scared is not fear. I am not shackled by it. I would sooner die than allow myself to be bound by chains. The depths of my mind is not a prison for myself to wallow in. Death is scary, but a living is anything but. Life is this beautiful tapestry with the signs of water, the earth, the sky, and all of the aeons across the vast emptiness of space. Life is naturally paired with death, but without it, the void of nothingness is in fact truly nothing. Death makes life worth living, because every moment I live in is another I cherish. There is no second that isn't worthwhile. Wasting time is only an analogy. Nothing is ever wasted in this world. Every tick of the clock is another treasure to treasure with one another, another treasure to pin to your name. Learn to cherish every day that rises and falls as seasons wane and wax, even as the earth turns to dust, even as all hair falls off, our fingernails curl and our bones are rendered into powder. And long after all our buildings turn to ruins and the sun dies out in a spectacular display of tenacity, life will always Always outpace death, always and forevermore. I allow death to seep into every crack and crevice. I will allow it to stalk me around every street corner, but that is simply it. Death is cowardice hiding in the shadows, but I am the sun. I illuminate my thriving life onto that despair. The molten hot blood throwing through my veins is proof of that and poisoning to the nothingness. And then with my long stride will stretch across all of time until the death I so gladly embrace with longingness. And so it may be 90, 80, 50, 20, 10, next year, month, week, it could be tomorrow I drop dead. But let me affirm this one thing. As scary as it may be, as frightening or bleak as everything becomes, I have no fear of death, but death should fear me.